video we're going to talk about hiding components while we're working. Um, so we can we can do a couple of things. Uh, we can make this guy we can make the top cover transparent by left clicking here in this column and saying change transparency. So you can double check to make sure your clearances in all directions are alright, looks good, and you get a, a different visual so you can see through it. Uh, there's occasions where you don't want to do that, there's occasions where we just don't want to see it, we want to we want to hide it. So you can do that a number of ways. I, we can work in our feature manager over here. Left click on the component that you want to disappear. Left click, okay, and hide component. And he dissolves away to nothing. Um, while we're here, why don't we attach this little foot? Now, because this is circular and we want to add a concentric mate, I mean, a circle's a circle, so it, it doesn't matter which one you pick, it's going to end up doing the same thing. Okay. All right, so we're going to go to the bottom view, use zoom to fit, and collapse this guy so we can see what we're looking for our additional rubber feet and as you can tell they are above our component so let's go to a front view now if we didn't if we had this guy show component now we're gonna go digging around to find the feet you know so sometimes it's just as easy to hide a component that you don't need. Ah, there's our feet. One, two. Hold the control button down. That should co collect all four of them. I mean, three of them. And let's move them down. Double click onto our bottom. Again, this orientation bar. I love it. Uh, you can get to it by hitting your space bar. I think that's a must. I'll have it in every drawing on every video. Uh, so let's give these guys a couple of mates and we'll be done with the bottom. So left click, left click, left click the outside. It gives us an automatic concentric. We like that. Click OK. We're gonna click this surface and I'm not gonna bother rotating because I know I can select this edge and that gives us uh, see that gives us a coincident relation usually it only comes up after you after you select it once you select this circle and another circular thing it knows hey you're looking for con concentric if we collect this surface and this guy there's only one coincident that there's, there's really only one selection so it automatically does it for you. Um, and let's do this last one. Okay, we're done with our mates on the bottom. We're going to go back to our isometric view and un Let's show this guy and hit save. Always want to hit save when you're working in assemblies. I'm going to say it over and over again. Make sure you save in your assembly file. All right. Thanks. Join me for the next one. Thanks for watching.